Hello, this is David Hoover, Vice President of Revenue Cycle Management here at Access. And when I briefly talk to you about top three lessons learned with the no pay wraps that started this year, uh, January 1st, 2021. So the first thing is what we knew sl changed slightly. Uh, we knew the split percentage was going to zero. We knew the submission timing uh, was going to be impacted uh, with the five calendar days from start of care. Uh, being required for submission of wraps, and there was a late penalty um, added to the submission or to the submission of wraps. Um, but we also knew that the reduced wrap requirements would allow us to to meet those new changes in the timing. What we we have found is that some of the things that we knew, like CS, uh, CBSA and FIPS code being optional, uh, we are having to require to have those codes in place uh, a little bit right now. Uh, also, we knew that things like uh, being able to submit uh, both wraps for the first 30 days and the second 30 days uh, was going to be uh, the ability. Uh, we're going to have the ability to do that. And we uh, for right now, we do not have that ability uh, without some uh, problems, which I'm about to talk about with CMS and the Max. Um, the CMS and CMS and the Max are still adjusting to the changes. Uh, HIPS codes, claim dates, and low utilization uh, adjustment payments have all been affected. Uh, what we're seeing right now is that uh, as the system issues are, are, are occurring, um, the CMS Max are um, uh, identifying what the true issue is. They're, they are dealing with it. They're coming up with a solution, and then they are uh, resolving them as they can. Uh, some of them are still out there to be resolved in March. Um, there, there is a uh, some things that are going to happen to make the system updates occur in March. Some of them have are still open without any resolutions, and some have been resolved. Also, we're still seeing that organizations are still feeling the impact, even though the the change occurred January 1st. The true impact was really starting to be felt in the end of January and in into February, and probably will be felt into March. Uh, the changes for uh, uh, not only uh, the timing of, of the submission, which we see uh, still there's quite a few through uh, middle of January that uh, percentage of the agencies that are getting it down below that five days is still um, uh, a very small amount, but also just really the cash flow and the revenue impact. Well, we're seeing financial impact in, in considerations, cash flow and revenue. The first of all is the cash flow. Uh, no longer having that 20% uh, or um, uh, payment upfront uh, is changing significant cash flow, but also the fact that you're having processing errors that is also uh, reducing some of the cash flow uh, with the finals. And that's why we see uh, the impacts happening not only in February, you know, end of January, but into February and probably into March, just because of some of the processing areas and delays that are occurring right now. But just to remember that this could potentially impact revenue. We're talking about some additional expenses to be able to adjust and change uh, to this. Uh, um, wrap changes that are going through, but also the penalty that affects revenue. Uh, it is actually a reduction in revenue. Also, we're seeing loop of visits paid uh, prior to submission not being paid. Uh, that significantly uh, could affect um, payment and, and revenue as we move into it. So not only is this a cash flow adjustment like we saw last year with PDGM, but this is definitely a revenue adjustment that occurs also. So just a summary of the key takeaways. Lesson one, what we knew changed slightly. Uh, we all made preparations for this change January 1st. Uh, there are some things that changed slightly. It was not quite as smooth as the PDGM uh, uh, change that occurred last year, uh, the first phase of PDGM. Uh, lesson two, CMS and Max are still adjusting and those are really system adjustments. A lot of uh, little nuances to how their system uh, adjusts to uh, not only removing the financial impact of wraps, but uh, uh, but it just how it processes the claims, we're still seeing those impact. And then lesson three, organizations are still feeling the impact and will be feeling the impact probably at least through March uh, as we see um, the whole industry moving and adjusting to this change uh, from the 20% down to 0%. And then of course, some of the um, uh, system issues that are affecting the max uh, being adjusted. Uh, once we get through there, just like we saw with PDGM, we think that there will be, um, you know, the, the impact will be um, 
changed and, and adjusted and we'll see everybody uh, kind of moving forward with that. And just remember the access solutions, our continuous spectrum that we have, our EMR, patient engagement, interoperability, mobile RCM and business intelligence all operate together in a seamless, seamless platform. Uh, just remember that access is designed to support the industries uh, and make sure that all the interoperability works seamlessly together. And if you have any if information or need me, uh, just reach out and you have some contact information here. And just remember access is empowering care anytime, anywhere.